You know I'm not really bald, it's just virtual reality. Speaking of virtual reality, it's mostly used for video games these days, but that doesn't mean that there aren't some people out there that are using it for other weirder things. Fascinating, but weird. Here are the 10 weirdest ways people are using virtual reality. Number 10 is underwater. VR apps can give you the illusion that you're pretty much anywhere, but the experience gets 10 times better if you actually feel like you're there. In the past few years, companies have been trying to develop waterproof VR headsets for the public. So instead of just viewing the Great Barrier Reef, these headsets would let you get in the water and feel like you're really scuba diving amongst the coral and tropical fish, of course, without Jaws sneaking up behind you. Even astronauts have started using virtual reality headsets underwater in order to train for the weightlessness of space. In the summer of 2015, four astronauts used it in an underwater lab. The headsets create an augmented reality that gives the illusion of performing tasks while floating in space. They're specifically using a product called the HoloLens, which is being used in deep space right now, as it has the potential to let mission control see what the astronauts see in real time with no delays. Number nine is work. If you weren't sick of your job already, virtual reality has the potential to let you be in the office 24-7. Yay. The Job Simulator app is an office-based game where you get to try and not be fired. But you know, if it's been a rough day, you can always let off some steam by throwing paper clips or giving the copier a beatdown. An Icelandic company, Breakroom, creates a virtual replica of the user's actual workplace, but with the bonus that you can block out noise and distractions. Virtual reality is being adapted in real workplaces, replacing video calls to save on travel for business meetings and even for job interviews. Virtual reality is also a health and safety dream for the workplace. Risks for potentially hazardous products or materials, even in nuclear facilities, can be tested without putting anyone in danger. Architects can even use VR to do walkthroughs of realistic designs of their buildings to find hazards or flaws before breaking ground. Number eight is hands-off training. We all know that practice makes perfect, so new virtual reality technology is great news for doctors and us. Believe it or not, doctors can now use virtual reality to get hands-on with virtual patients, while practicing procedures and complicated surgeries in the safety of a simulated world. Even dentistry has started using a virtual reality chair called Haptel. It saves real teeth while still giving students a real sense of drilling through enamel and perfecting their technique. It's also being used in operating rooms so students can observe doctors performing real surgeries but not having to be in the room. But it's not just the procedures that medical professionals need training on. Virtual reality is also enabling paramedics to prepare for high pressure situations by simulating road accidents and other emergency situations. That's a little morbid but it makes sense. The realistic scenarios help them learn to keep cool and think clearly when put into high pressure situations. Mm. You see that? His face is all over the road. Don't worry though, it's cool. I played this in a game before, I know what to do. Number seven are Facebook Hangouts. Facebook bought Oculus, the virtual reality hardware and software company, in March 2014 for $2 billion. And in March of 2017, Mark Zuckerberg gave the world the first insights into how he wanted to use it. Enter Facebook Spaces, which at least in the prototype Zuckerberg posted to his Facebook page, is like hanging out with your friends, but everyone looks like a cartoon avatar. A lot of virtual reality gaming as is lets users hang out with other users in fictional universes while fighting bad guys. But Facebook's vision is to have virtual reality be less solitary and be used in and mimic our day-to-day -day lives by making the experience more social and relatable. The new app logs into your Facebook account and literally puts you into a 360 Facebook world. It lets you choose your own avatar and interact with your friends who also have Oculus. You can even go back into your old photos which really makes all of those 360 panel shots way more interesting. Number six is exposure therapy. 
If a fear of clowns has you cowering every time you try to go into a McDonald's, virtual reality may help you to get over that. Virtual reality just may be the next best therapy tool in mental health, and it can do way more than help treat phobias. It's being used as a new realm of exposure therapy. It allows for highly controlled experiences that are designed specifically to each patient, whether they have a fear of heights or public speaking. A major development is in the treatment of PTSD and anxiety, especially for combat soldiers. Patients use VR to confront their fears and memories as if they're really happening, but with no real danger. A trained therapist guides the patient and is able to control the intensity of their experience. Studies have shown that virtual reality therapy is able to help reduce PTS symptoms, and it's even being used to treat chronic physical pain without medication. This is some next level stuff. Number five is Wanderlust. Getting to travel the world is amazing, but it takes a lot of time and money. Virtual reality is changing the tourism game for those of us with a bad case of wanderlust who just don't know where to go next or don't have the budget. And the travel and tourism industry is ready to use VR to sell you on where to go next. Think about it, it's one thing to look at pictures of a city in a brochure, but it's another to feel like you're already there walking around. If you've been wanting to go to Las Vegas, the Vegas VR app can let you see the city from a helicopter Helicopter or even a NASCAR driving experience. Prostitutes and stuff not included. Other apps allow you to explore Uganda from a hot air balloon, walk through a British museum, or check out the beaches in Rhodes. But this technology can also take you to places you'd never get to without it, like Chernobyl. The Chernobyl VR project lets you take a 360 degree tour of Chernobyl's exclusion zone, which is estimated to not be habitable for humans for another 20,000 years years. Number four is crime scene investigation. One amazing function of virtual reality is the ability to document and move through real spaces, which means CSI just got a lot more real. The idea is to have first responders record a crime scene before it's been contaminated or cleaned up. That way it can be experienced later in virtual reality and in 3D. This is actually revolutionary for investigators who have up until now had to rely only on videos and photographs without being able to go back and explore the space. It's also a game changer in the courtroom. Jurors can now put on a virtual reality headset and walk around real crime scenes and look at evidence up close. Hey, uh, you don't have to zoom in. That's a knife in his neck. Huh. VR reconstructions can show how people and objects, like bullets, move through space. Before virtual reality, lawyers only had two-dimensional pictures or drawings of the scene, and evidence couldn't be freely handled. And that makes it hard for jurors to understand the details of a case and make an informed verdict. I gotta be honest, though, this is some minority report stuff. I'm getting a little nervous. Number three is body swapping. If you've always wanted to know what it was like to live a day in the life of another person, virtual reality is making that happen. Since 2012, Be Another Lab has been using VR to do more than just Freaky Friday body swaps. They developed the machine to be another VR to deepen understanding of identity and empathy by letting users switch bodies. Their 2015 collaboration with MIT is looking to find even more social applications. The gender swap experiment in 2015 14, used a male and female participant to experience the world in the other's body. They wore VR helmets and synchronized their movements so that they could see the world from their partner's perspective while feeling like they were really in the other's body. The experiment is meant to make participants feel more unified than separate. But it's got to be a trippy feeling to feel you shaking your own hand. Or other things, depends how far it goes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Number two is immersive entertainment. Thanks to virtual reality and immersive entertain, FOMO is going to be a thing of the past. This technology lets users feel like they're anywhere from Coachella to the Super Bowl in real time without leaving home. In 2016, Fox Sports VR did special VR broadcasts that let users feel like they were at football games in real time. Even theme parks like Six Flags are getting into the VR with roller coasters. You still get to ride the real roller coaster, but wearing a VR headset changes everything. 
The movements of the coaster are synced with the virtual world. So instead of the parking lot flying by, you could be transported into outer space or in the middle of a flight between Superman and Lex Luthor. And because the headset takes away your sense of scale, the virtual world can feel even more extreme than what you're really experiencing, like making a 68 degree drop feel like 90. I just thought this could be used for naughty applications. That's next, that's, that's the final one, oh god. And number one is sex. Okay, it probably comes as no surprise that one of the most popular users of virtual reality is porn. In March of 2016, Pornhub launched a VR section on their website and gave away 10,000 free VR headsets as part of their partnership with the VR porn firm Bedoink VR. That is a fantastic name. VR pornography that lets users have the illusion that they're, you know, getting down and dirty has been around for a while, but developers are working to make it even more realistic. The Japanese adult company Tenga has invented a full VR suit for men called Illusion VR. The suit has a Samsung Gear VR headset that's worn by the user while engaging with an anime character. The suit is full of sensors that send electric impulses across the user's body and is equipped with one of Tenga's hands-free male personal pleasure devices that make the whole thing feel <clears throat> real. And all that without an actual partner. The suit even comes with a pair of fake anime breasts that sells for $400 as an add-on. Well, <laughs> talk about upsell. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. On the right, you'll find two of my most recent videos that you can press or click on your screen right now if you'd like to watch some more. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!